What's up, guys? Today, uh, I'm going to do a quick video um, on the setting up the warm spare for your Meraki MX. Uh, this is actually the first time I'm doing it um, that we haven't done um, a warm spare configuration before on the Meraki MX. So it was a bit of a learning experience. So this one's probably going to be a little bit more of an informal video. But there's only two prerequisites from what I can tell for needing to set up a warm spare on your Meraki MX. The first one being is for your internet links, if you have one or you have two, you'll need a separate public IP address, whether that be DHCP, however you're getting it handed out at your location uh, or static, you'll need a separate one uh, for each appliance. So uh, typically with like a Fortinet firewall, you just connect them both to a switch and they share the same IP, you know, when one takes over for the other. With Meraki, they both are kind of online at the same time. So each one needs its own IP because each one is simultaneously doing check-ins with the cloud uh, controller. So each one with their own IP. Um, if you do the um, MX WAN link, configuration and if you do the virtual ip configuration where you want each of them to use the same public ip you need to have um three you need to each one of them needs to have their own public ip and then you need to have one that is going to be the virtual ip uh that they'll both use when one takes over for the other um so uh, and the other prerequisite is that your other MX, the one that you're trying to configure for a warm spare, is already in your inventory in Meraki. All right, so enough talking. Let's get started here. So this is my my lab appliance that I have at my home. Um, it's for the WAN networks, just using a private address screen, private address. Um, private IP address scheme. So I don't have to worry about the public IP stuff, but if you're putting this in production, you will. So uh, I'm using the 192.168.1 network. So what we're gonna do here is really all you have to do is once you're in security and SD-WAN and appliance status, you're going to click the button here for configure warm spare. And then as long as your device is in inventory within your Meraki org, you should be able to select it from this list, right? It can't be a part of another network. And it has to be the same exact model as the one that you had as primary. So if you have an MX100 and you're trying to add an MX67, it's not going to work. So the guy that we want to configure is going to be this WZ7G right here. And there's two options here. And these are the ones where I was talking about the virtual IP or the uplink IP. MX uplink IP is they each have their own unique address. So whenever your primary fails and it comes over to the secondary, your public IP is going to be different. It's going to be using whatever is assigned to that. Virtual IP is they each have their own public IP and then they share a virtual public IP, which they'll both use in the event of a failover. So for sake of this demonstration, I'm going to do the MX uplink IP. Click update. Okay, now you can see that my spare is unreachable, right? Because I haven't made any connections yet. So I'm going to take my camera here and I'm going to show you what I currently have. All right, so you can see my um, my MX, the the primary guy down here. I have my internet connection right here. And then this is my connection to a switch that I have. And then my computer is plugged in right here. Right. So we need to get the secondary set up as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up here. I'm going to plug my secondary internet connection into my secondary device. And then, so that's gonna simulate the internet here and the internet here. And then I'm going to make a connection. So I'm in port two from my LAN switch to port two. And then I'm going to plug that guy into port two on my secondary. Oh, 
All right. So each each Meraki MX has the internet connection right here and right here. And then each one has a connection to my LAN switch. Secondary MX here, primary here, and they're both connected to this guy right here. And then my com computer for testing is going to be in this port to make sure that failover works. Okay. All right. Now, that one is going to go ahead and reach out to the cloud controller. So while that's working, there is a way that you can make some changes to the secondary. So we're going to go here and I'm going to go to uh, network. Uh, where's it at? We may have to refresh the page here. And there will be some potential downtime whenever you, I think it's about like 30 seconds to a minute of downtime um, whenever, whenever you set this up. So it will need to be in a maintenance window. All right. So you can see my primary is current master. My spare looks like it's probably pulling that config down. Um, and now we have the option you can see in here, the spare status. So my primary has a, IP of 192.168.1.210. As you can see, this one pulled uh, DHCP. So what I'll just do is I'll just make this data here. Two oh nine. Right, so now my primary should be 192.168.1.210 and my secondary should be 192.168.1.209. Check back in, see how things are looking. All right, so it looks like we're cooking. Um, and if I can check and see, what we're going to do is we're going to run some packet captures. So right now I'm operating through the primary. All right, so let's run some packet captures. All right, so I'm going to diagnose sniffer packet. I want to see what traffic is rolling through my primary MX. So I'm going to do one, two, six, that one, that two, ten. And what we should see is any traffic from my device, like web traffic and that kind of stuff. So let's see here. All right. So you can see the majority of traffic, all the web traffic from the device that I have plugged into my switch is going out the primary because that's 192.168.1.210. All right. So let's go ahead and let's check the secondary. This should, okay, so we can see here that there is <clears throat> DNS traffic. And basically what this is doing is this is performing DNS checks um, from the secondary unit to make sure that the internet link is up um, and that basically, you know, it's your, your basic Rocky checks that the MXs do um, when they're online, doing the ARB check, DNS, and then usually every now and then there's a web request out. But there's no traffic traversing through the secondary. It's just strictly the Meraki reaching out to the controller. And this is why if they have public IPs, it has to have its own because if it doesn't have its own, then there's going to be a conflict and there's no way for it to reach out to the Meraki controller to check in. Okay. So what we're going to do now to test over to test failover is I'm going to unplug the primary. All right. So three, two, one unplugged. And I think it takes about 30 seconds. And then in about 30 seconds, we should see all of my traffic from my PC that's plugged into the switch coming through the firewall on secondary IP. So, and when I've done some of the testing in the past, it does take 
uh, about 30 seconds to a minute for there to be a failover. All right, so it looks like I got booted out. So the network probably changed. Got to get back in here. So now, as you can see, all of my web traffic is going through the secondary. So it was a successful failover, and now all my traffic's running through. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to plug it back into the primary, plug the power back in, three, two, one. And that guy's gonna take a while to, um, to come back up. And if you're wondering, the failover from one MX to the other, it looked like it took about 30 seconds to a minute. When I run a ping test for my device, I maybe drop two or three pings before the failover occurs. Um, so um, just wanted to throw that out there. Okay, so what should happen is I should be kicked out of here again. And, um, and this, this usually takes a minute. you'll see the packets kind of stop. All right, you can tell now that there's been a stop in the packets that have gone through the, the firewall. So um, at this point, what should have happened is it failed back over to the primary once it's plugged in. Um, so we can go ahead and test that theory. Looks like I might need to log back in again. Yep. So you can see there was a little pause there. Log back in. All right, first we're gonna check on the um, the secondary to make sure that it's your basic traffic just going through that guy. So, all right, so these should be the checks in place for Meraki. It's just doing the ARPs and communication with the Meraki dashboard. You can see there's not all the web traffic coming through this guy that there was before, right? So then now let's go back and check on the primary. Now you can see all the web traffic coming through from my device again. So we successfully powered off the primary traffic was, uh, was sent over the secondary MX. And then when we plugged the primary back in, took maybe two or three minutes for it to fail back over to the primary and begin using that, uh, that firewall. So at this point, um, we have a successful failover. We've tested it. Everything looks good. Don't think there's going to be any issues with the setup. Um, but yeah, just wanted to share this on how to set it up. It was a little confusing from their documentation. I'll put a link in that, a uh, link to that in the description below. But uh, yeah, hope this is helpful and I'll catch you in the next one.